The Suez Canal was built in 1869, but today we're going to do it 400 years early. Because how hard is it actually to split two continents? This is just one of the many insane things you could do as the Mamluks in EU4, and today we're going to be taking that to the extreme. We can literally conquer so much land that our neighbors will immediately become our vassals, and we can diplo annex them later. I've got a second video edited and all ready to go, where we unite Islam and form the Caliphate. But if you want to see that, you better show me how faithful you are by liking this video and subscribing. Yes, this is a threat. Alright, we start off with an event immediately, and uh, I kind of like the idea of getting all uh, of these cords, so... That's instant annexation. So the Mamluks have a nice new mission tree, and I think we should go through it. I'm mostly interested in building the Suez Canal as soon as possible. Uh, so we need to do Alexandrian trade, should be pretty easy, and then just develop um, this province 10 times. And then we'll just get the Suez Canal after 10 years. So that's ridiculous, and I want it. There's so many missions, my god. Kahara has been improved eight times, has three buildings. Short urban planning of Kahara. There's a lot of pl playing tool stuff. There's a lot of campaigning over here. Wait for a mission to start. <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, hey, have this area. So, Syria, we need to get back down to... We could do relatively easily. Probably should have Royal Married them before clicking that event. That would have been smart, but oh well. Go ahead and... Ri Why? <laughs> Lithuania's rivaled me. All right, man. Uh, let's just rival everyone. I'm planning on doing no allies this playthrough. Sure, Lithuania. We'll rival you back, buddy. Do we have the Mamluks estate? Which gives us uh, more of the Mamluk unique unit type. That's, a that's good. Morale damage, I'll take that. I don't really want to play with cavalry. However, we do have 10% cavalry combat ability. So I, I guess we're playing with cavalry. I'm going to go down the legalism route. Grant residents to local scholar. Now, I, I mean, I also kind of want to go a bit ham on this one. So let's go aggressive expansion impact. We'll need ourselves military power. Give them basically all of these. I'm not going to do this one just yet, but that's what I want to do. Run the Karimi much? That'd be really good later on. Oh, I want to do this. There's going to be 10% tax right off the bat. And we're going to go some tolerance, I think. You want me to employ an admin advisor? Fortunately, that's what I want to do. Okay, I think everything's set up initially, at least. Get cracking. All right, first things first. We know what we're about to do. All right, let's make our king into a general, even though he's like 72. And he sucks. I'm going to placate him twice, and I think that means, yep, Northern Territories is done. Gives us some prosperity and also claims literally everywhere. <laughs> okay, so we want to declare a few different wars here. Oh my god, none of them have allies. Oh my god, none of, none of them have allies. Well, first things first. No CB biz. It's a state People of any decent start and move. And we're going to be having some fun today. So we're going to be declaring war uh, on a few different nations at the start. We claim. No, thank you. We want a Circassian. Ahmad II. He's a 5 2 1. That's not great. Not terrible, but not great. Oh, that's definitely not great. I picked him because he gave me 15 army tradition. <laughs> Off the bat, I do want to get the free company. I got a couple loans. Grab the free company. Send half of you over to Constantinople. The other lot are going to stay with me. Okay, the Ottomans have a truce with them. So let's go for. This lot. So I warn you, call in you. Let's give someone a bit easier at the start. Now, Syria is loyal, so is Fadl, which means they'll both help us. I also need to. I mean, I can. No, I'll try and get this guy to be my vassal. Most likely we'll be able to pull it off though. Ah, screw it. Let's do it all, all at once. Oh, well, that's inconvenient. All right, let's pull these guys out. So we have only 10k sitting over there. We're actually outnumbered. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. There is no cause for concern. No cause for concern. If he gets access through uh, the Ottomans, then these 10k are gonna die. Gotta keep checking for military access. Everything will be fine if we win this. I need the fleet equal or larger to 35. Yeah, that's gonna take a little bit of doing. I'm gonna need galleys the other way, so I might as well build them now. I must put them on the wrong side. Three. Constantinople's been looted. Okay, this could go poorly, so I need to get an advisor. Get Discipline guy. Doesn't matter if we can lose money. Okay, sweet. We're landing in time. We're good. Okay, there's access, which is not... I mean, it's not my favorite thing to happen right now, but it's not the worst. For me, it's just a concern that they'll march in and take my territory. Actually, this is pretty good because it means we don't need to worry about naval. We could just go straight in. Siege of Marash. Okay, so that's that done. Dolkid is allied with this in Kefa. Got march on that. Another... General, just to handle the sieges. Okay, it's been a very eventful start. We've got three wars. All right, Syria doing the business. Good job, chaps. What are Syrian ideas? Okay, you've attacked Dolkadir. You're too late. This is mostly about uh, stopping the Ottomans from getting any power. So we cut off all of his all of his routes. We settle down and then we'll attack him. Because the Mamluks do start uh, decently powerful in comparison. Here's the cave. Do I actually care about you? It feels like it's just going to slow me down. Okay, let's not do anything with you now, even though I could have you. Take this land. All right. One of one's complete. I, don't know, I really thought I'd do the Byzantine War first, but see if we can break out of this. 1440, uh, 54 apparently. 10 years after the start of the game, nothing special about that. Oh, don't go out. I did not see those five galleys. Uh, I'll try and go for this one though. Okay, the galleys are here. We've taken them out. I'll help the Syrians. Please attach to the fleet. God, the Syrians are moving on. I gotta help them. God, they keep on moving. Syria, no point, man. We lost two galleys. Oh my god, I can't leave. I can't leave out to dry, but this is not the way. All right, this should be it. Negative one away, which means that yes, okay. So we're gonna take this province, and then we are going to vassalize 
the Byzantine. Now, I can't get through here, can I? So I need to try and land. I don't want to core Athens. I want to give it to the Byzantines. I don't think we can win that. Yeah, I was just giving them time to retreat. Okay, I've accidentally attacked. Okay, there go the Crimeans. Get ready to fight uh, this lot, Caraman. <laughs> the reason I can't have any vassals is... Or allies, sorry, is, is mainly because of the fact that I won't be able to afford it with all the diplomatic relations. Yeah, National Manpower Modifier, I'll take it. You just said it took a while. Okay, we'll keep 6k there. And now we watch the coalition begin to fall. Pay off your debt, which is basically to make you loyal. And we'll grant you Athens, you deal with that. Then let's placate you. Should be good for now. Then we'll make you loyal in a sec. Uh, let's rival the Timurids, maybe? Let's rival Poland. That sounds like more fun. Okay, and Medina is about to be ours. Caraman entered into a coalition against us. Let's go now. Let's prove why they do need a coalition, I guess. Okay, the Ottomans enter into a coalition against me. That's fine as well. Get an improved relations guy. And let's drop the discipline guy. Gotta avenge Syria. Damn, Caraman keeps on destroying me. <laughs> Alright, Siege of Caraman, Siege of Icel. That's that done. I can't imagine people are gonna be too pleased with me here, but that's fine. Who could join a coalition? Not that many people, and they already basically have. Yeah, so if we were to fight the Ottomans. I mean, damn, the, the parity's basically here already. Offer you military access. And now our first mission. Only like five years in and well, <laughs> that's a ridiculous first five years. Where are you? Holy cities. So now we can consolidate our two allies, uh, two vassals into one vassal like that. I think that gives us claims on, yeah, Arabia. That's a really hurtful mission description. Despite being situated between several important cities, the rule of two is to fail to protect their people. I'm sure they tried their best. Were we like critically mishandled for many years? Yeah, but people forget that Tunis got crusaded a bunch. There was a Portuguese king that died there. The French invaded a couple of times. I'm not even talking about 1881. I'm talking about earlier. Like, uh, the early modern period for Tunis was a series of invasions, and we fought most of them off. Using the government interaction recruit from the Scassian lands will now grant us plus two pet that early. Christ, I can't say I expected that one. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I really didn't expect that one. Uh, that's fine, though. Let's get this done, then. Let's crush the coalition. Okay, we win the first battle. Yeah, it's not an ideal situation for me. Uh, the west coast is looking nasty. Everything here should be- Oh, did he call an Akiyunu? He did. Okay, well, we smacked them back a little bit. Okay, the main thing is to pick up these forts. Doomstack in here is a pretty decent idea. I don't want to lose that battle or that battle, but here we are. Okay, I need to set my vassals to supportive. Uh, we'll fight this one. I need a better general than this. Okay, I needed you to, like, stay there, not- This would have been great if it was a war that we started so we could get the Byzantine cause back. I didn't anticipate fighting the Ottomans. Otherwise, I would have attacked them directly. Okay, they are going to take Constantinople, which is a bit of an issue. Take this, nail barrage and then hide oh the genoese oh actually we're doing really well we'll retreat out of there but we, we're doing pretty good there siege of Ankara is over so we're gonna hold the west pretty handily or the east pretty handily but it's the west that's the issue i can separate piece you because you are uh, not part of the coalition you're just a buddy of the ottomans so we've taken raqqa which is good yeah i would have loved to have gotten taken Kocheli before they took constantinople, constantinople because i wouldn't need naval severity as such i'm gonna have to build a bunch of ships all right so instead of being supportive I'm going to tell you guys to siege, I think. I know, there are some, some chaps coming in. Yeah, that's a lot of troops. Uh, if you're locked in, I'm locked in. Go for it. We're winning battles, but they are costly. Oh, I do have a trick up my sleeve. Damn it, he turned up in the wrong province. <laughs> we'll go ahead and fight these rebels. Michelli's done. That frees up a couple more boys. That's a lot better. That's what we'll take. All right, now you run rampant. All right, that should be another victory there. They need my navy here, because then I can uh, prevent uh, crossing, or at least like I can stack up this lot. All right, we should have ticking war score now, so we can settle a little bit. My allies can't keep keep up and so they're killing themselves okay some of them got caught a lot of them got caught all right we should win that yep that's that's a naval battle victory fortunately it's followed by a loss on land now we can get the new naval fleet oh galley combat ability plus 15 percent. yes please okay siege of circle is done we've got naval's priority money's a little bit lower than i'd like but we are in a good place well they've just immediately dropped to low Oh, they're probably in a fight. Okay, well, if his fleet wants to blockade over here, that's fine. Okay, the idea is we want to bait... Okay, they're hiring mercenaries. We want to bait them across one by one. Okay, he wants to fight again. That's perfect. That's all of the ones that we want to allow to slip. Okay, can't let B get taken. Uh, I'm going to tell my vassals to siege. Okay, let them try and cross. Come across. Take them out. Free company has no manpower left, so we're going to get rid of them. That's why B keeps them going. There's a bloody fort there. I can't believe I keep forgetting that. All right, we have to take on the chin and force the crossing. All right, set so our vassals to supportive. I had one to fight the Ottomans. Well, around now, was the plan. I have sort of forced my hand a little bit. Okay, so we do get the crossing off, which is nice, and now we need to hold it. Okay, so you shouldn't take too long. Concern about the Syrians going and sieging. Did specifically tell them not to, but sure. I haven't had manpower for many moons. There's Gelabolu. All right, I'll nip in, take out 4k and leave. Hey, in fact, we're just gonna hold here. Can defend that if I need to. And our troops are competent. Okay, there's 50k and he's marching away. Boys, are you not set to being supportive? You are. So do me a favor. 
Be supportive. Sieging in the east with like a good third or fourth of our army, a quarter of our army is not what I want to see. Yeah, I really it would have been great to have attacked this myself. Right, there's Constantinople. There's 83%. That should be enough. Diminishing returns from here on out. Most of the Byzantines lined uh, back to them, which is nice. I need to be able to cross freely. Don't like the anchor of fort. Oh, boy. Um, What else do we do to him? Yeah, I don't have it, though, so I can't give it. I'll, I'll just take and give it to you. I don't care. Negative 24. It might be... Worth sitting around and waiting. The Chinese are marching in here. Oh my god, they might actually secure a win. Let's you with Austria. That's irritating later on down the line. Not for now. Walls breach shouldn't take long now. Okay, why? Yeah, they appear to be running around. And there's a Dunny. That's it. I need to take these provinces to connect up. I'm gonna take money though, because that'll help pay off a lot of loans. It's coalition, but we've already beaten it. I think I took all the provinces that yeah, none of the provinces I have claims on. Uh I need, this is a fort and I need that province, that province I have a claim on. Yeah, this makes sense. That was plenty painful, but we're in not terrible shape. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. That's not a bad first 10 years. Uh, let's go ahead and take on, oh, sponsor Grand Hajj. What does that do? Mutual trust plus 10. That's cool. Go and do annex Syria. Uh, I do want to give this to the aristocracy though. Where are you? Make Syria disloyal. That's fine. I will placate you. Oof, an immediate inheritance. This is an insane Austria game. I don't think I'm the main character here. Okay, I can grab myself some piety. Eh, not really necessary. Well, not piety, sorry. Uh, corruption, which I could do with cash. Okay, by the way, the Mamluk Sultan does have a unique government reform, which gives us um, Monarch Admin Skill plus two, which is pretty phenomenal. Ooh, construction cost and development cost. That's nice, but it's not as good as good old-fashioned manpower. All right, and Syria's been axed. Now, this is particularly rich land, so we're going to wait a month, Dick. Oh, why can't I decrease your autonomy? That's already zero. All right, how much do I spend on naval maintenance? Because this is frankly ridiculous. Yeah, fleet maintenance is costing me... That's only costing me three, actually. Get rid of you lot. Okay, I've accidentally made the Mamluks way too powerful but that's fine i'll do that later uh it's rival france buddy buddy with the austrians uh, i did say no allies though we have just completely rinsed the ottomans okay government direction promotes a cassian gives you all power costs for a year 100 at oh it's only the culture progress yeah okay let's just do that then no reason not to sell off circassian slaves and recruit from circassian lands probably get circassian lands first right here's what i want to do next settle down pay off our loans and see if anyone is willing travels on cyprus dongola pretty much all of these guys down here and he's uh shamar a lot of ticks there huh well, we've got three spots um i'm not sure we do them individually though off to declare on epirus um not a bad idea actually that's a better idea this is gonna be a good one you're gonna like this you're gonna really like this Good mercantile relation venice not allied moments has been insulted why well, just insult them i'm gonna scornfully insult them because sometimes that gives like hidden bonuses at least 25 sh light ships okay sweet our national idea monopoly ports love it's idea double what's that do oh 20 percent trade efficiency jesus should i've taken this province for myself and then uh Reconquested against the Ottomans. Make it a decent amount of money, which is nice. And the Siege of Arthur is done. Some of you may have guessed what I'm trying to do. Looking vassal. Uh, this will give us some cash. 235, and then it's worth it just to keep on paying off these loans. We only have like 500, 600 loans now. Truth with that, can you know? Cool, you've unconditionaled. That's great. I'm gonna fight the Ottomans again. <laughs> Can't imagine he's gonna be too happy with this. Okay, he's take five, but so are we. Completely forgot that was take five. You're gonna get smoke. Oof, that's a stack wipe. That's nice. Why aren't you protecting the straight to make sure he can't get across? And that is a phenomenal suggestion. <laughs> oh, I should have let him cross again. I'm making so many little mistakes. I should have let him cross. Uh, and then uh, cancelled it so I could get the stack wipe off. Now, what do I wanna do here? Do I humiliate? Do I take cash? Cause I could just, yeah, let's just do that. Why wait? You know, I just fight him again. Okay, I'm gonna reload because I don't know why that's happened. Why did we accept a peace deal from the Ottoman? That doesn't make any sense. I wanna see how that happens again. We're on 14%. We're making progress. We have the war goal. War's only been on for two years. No, it didn't happen this time. That's weird. So it happened twice, but reloading for a third time didn't make it. That's weird. What that? What is. Uh, this is a very, this is a very strange situation. Nope, it happened again. What that? Why? Okay, I've realized what's happened. I've realized, I've realized what's happening. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing. <laughs> I can't wait to show you this. Oh, this is the dumbest. This is the dumbest thing. So I've, I'm the defender, right? I've taken over the, uh, the mantle of war. What's happening is that Hungary is enforcing peace on the Ottomans, <laughs> which is then triggering a white peace because they're accepting because they don't want to be in it. So what I'm going to do is scornfully insult them, uh, which hasn't helped. Thanks, Hungary. I guess we're doing a white peace then. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. We're seizing Masambria and we're going to release. I mean, that's what I should have done in the first place, I guess. At least Bulgaria. All right. To build a mosque in Kahra for a mission. My God, you are terrible at fighting if I melted those that quickly. Ah, revoking land has made the Mamluks disloyal. Rather unfortunate for me. Okay, we've got 52. Here's what I'm going to do. Switch over to curtailing noble privileges. 
which is going to reduce their influence to below 100. There you go. So we don't have to deal with that because I need the privileges. Fruit the Mamluks. Gain access to new estate agenda and we get claim reach five in government reforms and we get a new government type sweet we can do that easy all right this is the first of our vassals or new vassals i suppose and morocco wouldn't come in if we attack tunis now yeah it seems like a good enough idea right wait i need to vassalize someone else first shamar right, you two are vassals we're about to integrate another one all right now that's sorted let's go ahead declare war over here oh the other one's no longer a great power that sucks i need to be worried because the the tunisians what you do is you trap them on jerba real easy you can trap someone on Jerba very very easily uh and then they have an insane bonus so galley combat ability plus 20 percent right at the start which is terrifying. Badal is now part of our empire. Big out of six. Oh, free money. Well, not free, but we get rid of the two corruption like that. Oh, we can pay off all our loans. I wonder why the, uh, the Byzantines aren't helping. Everyone else does. Bulgaria's helping. They barely have any troops. Siege of Jerba is done. You know what I'm going to do? Declare war on Cyprus. That's going to call in the knights. And I want to deal with those guys early because I want to get raided into oblivion. Dude, I'll take some cash in return for manpower, please. What did I do? I fulfilled the mission. Alexander in trade, wonderful. Let's be at peace and then I can start the construction of uh, the canal. I need another 500 development to become an empire. So this one's just basically conquer all of Arabia. And I feel like I can do most of Arabia just without conquering people. So let's do that. Akiyuni is probably our next target. What we'll do is we'll, we'll fight the Ottomans. Then we'll take on Akiyuni to reset the true style. Because I want to swallow the Ottomans as soon as possible. Yeah, we'll get this done in two years. If you're a fan of historical combat, you should be aware of War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. If you're a tank guy, we've got tanks. Prefer helicopters? Today is your lucky day. War Thunder has more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships available to play for free in PvP battles. If you're a military buff, you'll openly weep at the level of detail available, with each tiny individual component modeled close to perfection. This also goes for historical vehicles. You can select vehicles over a 100 year time span, so if there's a particular tank you're a fan of, you can command it today. If you want to take a step further, there's also an in-depth customization system with hundreds of different types of camouflage, as well as 3D decorators. In terms of the combat, you can see exactly what happens to you or an enemy vehicle. Now that hit point nonsense, we're going for top level immersion and accuracy. Download War Thunder today with my link in the description. You can play for free on PC, PlayStation or Xbox. And using my link is going to give you a large bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles and much more. But only for a limited time. Oh, there's our Berrien wedding. Although you did conquer most of it. Castile also announces their new rival. Guys, I'm flattered. There's so many of you. Oh no, that's not good. I don't really want to fight that. I had every opportunity to not fight that. And I did anyway. And I tell you what, I'm glad I did. You going to Kabir? <gasps> Where are you retreating to? Oh, that's bad for you. Wait, it's bad for me. Uh, it's, no, it's worse for you. Siege Rhodes is done. Go ahead and nick that. All right, I need a mainland force. I also need more cogs, I think. Oh, look at that. The business has turned up to stand next to me. Stop <laughs> Just to make me suffer attrition. The worst ally ever. Yeah, that's not pleasant to fight. I mean, it's fine, we'll do it, but it's not pleasant. Oh, Bastion the Knights, look at that. Plus 50 prosperity in Bahari and the Delta. Take Saint Nikosov soon. Ideally, I want to fight him again. Oh, Splendor. Now, let's start a Golden Era. And let's get aggressive expansion back. Right, Siege of Dahra is over. That should be all we need against the boys in the south. I have to go all the way back and attack him. Oh, there we go, Shamar. That's what we want to see. Oh, truce to the Ottomans. Damn it, I should have been done by now. Run out of manpower. Okay, that's Tunis. City of Caravan. So it gives us Garwan. It goes to level two. I think it starts at level two anyway. Institution spread in true faith for provinces plus 33% is very useful. All right, let's bring everyone home. Got war against the Ottomans to, to fight. So Akiyunlu is taken out. I didn't expect. I blinked. They were in a really rough state for a while. Damn, the Byzantine troops are stuck. <laughs> the Byzantine troops are so bad. All right, let's take Cyprus. Now we're at peace. We can do this. 49. Yeah, why not? Use Nicosia to claim on Thrace, crush Anatolia, and then we take the heart of an empire. Oh, we can also start the whole Suez thing. <laughs> <laughs> he can build it 10 years. Oh my god, it's amazing. You guys are doing a lot quicker than I've done it. Um, I kind of forgot about it a little bit, but that's that's insane. I want me to fire my advisor. Okay, done. Quite an easy one to solve. Royal Venice. Seems like a good rival. Gather up all of our troops. Very quick to use transports. And we'll split into two stacks. Taking the first couple of administrative ideas. We should still have a better army than him. Okay, reconquest. Take Corridone. Okay, we have to fight that, unfortunately. Jesus, he was melted. Do you see how quickly the Byzantine troops are going to die there? Also got the Bohemians to turn up as well. There they are. As if on time. Hopefully he'll stay in tall suit. Maybe we can get a nice stack whip off it. We do. Wonderful. Now let's go deal with the Bohemians. Let's go deal with them. They're an affront to everything. What the hell is this? She is zealots. Dude, Ottomans, let's, let's call a truce. Let's focus on the real enemy here. Also, I need to retreat from that. Don't cost legitimacy. Construction cost defensiveness. Minus 50% 
tax and production. No, thank you. Just the Citadel itself. Where the hell did the Shia Zealots come from? You don't have any Shia promises. It must be a scripted event. Yeah, you just took take six. That's why it was such a painful fight. Now, let's find these Shia rebels. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Gotta stop them before they spread. All right, let's hide away here in the hopes that he'll retreat across the street. Oh my god, I'm insufficient support. This is gonna be hurt. Okay, we're good. I think I need Urfa, don't I? There's something I needed. Can't quite remember. Ah. Here we go. So I'll take Earth off you and get rid of your alliance with a jam. And the Great Horde. I just need to take one or two provinces off of you. Yeah, I was a gamble. I had no idea how many troops I had. <laughs> kind of just threw myself in there and saw what happened. <coughs> okay. So you'll give you'll give me what I want, which is a province, ending your alliances with a jam and such. You need loads of claims. And also another military one or admin one. I probably should have saved that, but it's no fun to save missions. Why the Sensing Separatists haven't risen up? Honestly, this is um, a hellish campaign. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves. He's trying to kill the free company. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Cyprus is something we need to deal with. Kind of ASAP. All right, things are slipping out of my control a little bit here. Behind off a bit more than I could chew, but I, I don't know. I could chew quite a few things at once. Maybe not all the things, but some of the things, and hopefully those things that I could chew will suffice. I've actually taken a single Ottoman province yet. All right, go and help out over here. Wow, you landed on him. That's terrible. I did not want you to do that. <laughs> I did not expect him to be there. Also, I didn't retreat. I could have, but I didn't. Look, Ottomans, neither one of us wants to be here, okay? You gotta just chill out, man. God, the businesses have so many problems. Uh, good effort, boys. Good effort. My lads have lost me so much war score. Fair, you'll probably peace out now. Yeah, do the whole thing with the Ottomans again, please. I'm just gonna peace out whatever I can get now. Yeah, you don't want to give me war reps? You'll just... Okay, you won't give me anything. I have to siege down Prague. My army is severely diminished. The only reason we aren't outnumbered is because everyone else is as well. This has been a, a not-so-fun war. It has, to, it has to be said. What's been going on? Like, four years. Four years and I siege down one Ottoman province. The bright side, we're making loads of money during this war. And we won the siege of Prague. And we are technically winning this war. And Hejaz has been at it. Oh no, my ships, they're trapped on this side in the, of, the, of the med. Oh, that's horrible. It's even five years. Don't slack off. And they can't see me coming because they're blind. Oh, he's dead. There we go. A five. 5 one, one I don't... Uh, that's a 3 one, one by the way. My government type forced him to be more. Oh, make it in time. Make it in time. Make it in time. Yes. But what? Uh, there we go. <laughs> For a second, it just didn't seem like it was going to be the battle. All right, let me tell my vassals, go and siege. It's a remarkably stable realm for what this is right now. There we go. Fairly certain the Ottomans don't have any more troops or the ability to bring up anymore. No, he can. He's just on that side of things. Okay, I need one more province in this region. Two more. So let's, um, we can always declare another reconquest war. Yeah, that looks good. One takes our hand. You know, it's going to be effective because it rhymes. Lucky to declare war on the Ottomans. It's a, it's a sad day. It's a sad day for the Ottomans, for sure. Okay, they'll give me access. Not access, sorry. Uh, they'll give me what I want. Uh, instead, let's really screw over the Wallachians and do this instead. <laughs> what about Tolsu? Uh, okay, Kostendil, Tolsu. Okay, cool. So he's going to get nothing. That's fun. Thank you very much. Okay, so we get Crush Anatolia and we get the gates of Constantinople. Ooh. So we either get, we are victorious and we get 15 permanent power projection. Mm. That's fine. Was once the proud heart of the Islamic world's most prestigious capital now lies in ruins after the pretender sultan of the Ottoman Empire fell to the might of our armies and the strength of our faith over his. To celebrate this major victory, we've marched our troops in the former empire's capital, but you already have it, um, as an exhibition of strength and supremacy over our foe. So tier three integrated Ottoman officials, government reform, which allows us to use pashas, reveal our Mamluk ruler skills and increase our hidden tolerance capacity. That sounds pretty cool. Do that. What did the Imperial for that? I need to start a shipyard. I need to actually have naval ideas. Fleet large or, or equal to 200. 90 days early. That's nice. Our truce from the first coalition just ended. So, should tell you quite a bit. There is King of Hungary as well. Luck with that. I think they're at war. Most of our money is going to Diplo advisors because I've got uh, influence ideas, obviously. Thanks to the pointy ducats. Uh, influence ideas. At the same time as obviously integrating a bunch of vassals. Actually, start with Tunis. Oh, they get attacked by Castile. Oh, no. Eclipse Morocco. We need land in Morocco. Campania and Tabriz. Line and Crescent. Okay, so that's just eastern stuff. So this is eastern stuff. This is marching to Baghdad. That's east. That's west. This is the Unify Islam part of things. This is Arabia. Fine. Beyond the Nile. That's even further south. That's government five government reform. Prosperous and has been developed at least once. We can do that. And we need this area to be prosperous. Grain trade in Egypt. Or has been developed four times. Dumyat and Rashid. One, two, three, four. Is that, that one done? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, one, two, three, four. Nice. That completes that mission. Cultivate the Delta. Focus on spreading our wealth or use export grain diplomatic decision. That sounds cool. Let's do that. Get export grain. What does export grain do? The rest of this is just trade. Sweet. Oh, I think you already have meant to have done this. Okay, so has been proved eight times, has at least three buildings. We can do that. Okay, that'll do that. I'll complete that. Since the level, the central trade level in Qahira is increased by one. And then here, government from Diwan Al-Qas. Damn it, I should have done that. And then we need to build buildings here. Kamar has been 
and it on to the next slot, I suppose. Uh, I need a little bit more offer access, and that should do you. Vassalization, and you're in. Fortunately, the war over here means I can't take Dawasit and Anisa like I'd like. I did something, apparently. I'm not sure what I did. <laughs> ah, 1,000 minerals. Perfect. And then I just need all these areas to have counting stuff, which I'm doing now. Then we can export grain. I just see 7,000 manpower off of Epirus. It was rather impressive. All right, let's see what happens to Tunis. Can't imagine anything good. 97%, buddy. Just, well, that was also my route. Oh, God, they took Jarba as well. Oh, Naples got done in by France. This is a, an upsetting game. Okay, vassalization with you. I mean, I might as well go after this lot, right? I'll only use one of my armies. I'll use the mercenaries as well. Oh, the Timber's doing well. I didn't realize. Oh, I declared war for something. I don't even know what it is. Why are those my claims? <laughs> Okay. I can't get there because of the forts and billets and such. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Got the Suez Canal, chaps. Slow trade power plus... 5%. My own little vassal swarm as well. Oh, I was about to say that's annoying, but I've actually got an army right there. It's actually very convenient. Did your bit list is done. Let's go to this capital. Damn, did not mean to attack twice in the mountain. Very painful, given I have no man. Castle Sultan. Economic diplomatic action of export grain. What does that do? We gain plus two mercantilism and they get supply limit, development cost, and national unrest. Well, let's just do that. Do it to all of our vassals. What if I do it to someone that isn't my vassal? Maybe that's part of it. Must either be an ally or a subject. Okay, well, there goes that. I guess you're getting grain as well. How many people can I do this with? I don't understand this, frankly, but it's fun. It's a cool new interaction. All I care about. Just export grain to everyone. Okay, we've got global trade power and trade range and diplomatic annexation costs, which is going to be very, very useful. So I declared war on the Ottomans. That's sad. Oh, is Wallachia still at war with you? They haven't let you go. You're in three pieces. All right, I need to declare this war immediately, otherwise he's going to ally someone like the Great Horde again, which I do not want. Actually, no, they won't. He's at war. So we can give it a second. Uh, let's get Mushasha out of here. Oh, I've got another mission. <laughs> Father of African Rivers. Estate Plivery. Check this out. Merchant Guilds. All right, I think Tier 3, Integrated Osman Officials are now a thing. So Mamluk Succession event will no longer hide their skills and we get monthly autonomy change, which is fantastic. That's an insane reform. Now, I was originally going to get Iraq um, as a vassal, but eh. So what do I need to do here? Campaign in Tabriz. I need those five provinces. March to Baghdad. I need a bunch of provinces there. Well, actually, so I either do something like this i do so what does each of them give me home claim on purge region and our guy is now strict strict's better give the lemma some land rights and let's give the dimmy some land right what do patches actually do because i don't really use them gonna give us minimum local autonomy increase local tolerance of heathens plus 10 though could be useful over here i'll do it in the balkans right, that was it you done with your war ah uh, which means you can become, become my vassal and we get cannons now doesn't really help me so he's not allied to anyone important so we can go after him if we need to we have claims on the entirety of the balkans right let's plan next moves here there's a multitude of different directions we can go in. I think we're going to take on Akinulu. When is this up? That's ages away. So Akinulu is the next target. Uh, a jam, not all, like we can fight a jam at the same time and get him to call on his buddies. Conquer those two. Uh, annex this stuff and then also head into Tunis. We could technically do them all at the same time. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't do that. Also, our boys have crossed into the Palestinian coast. Oh yeah, I wanted to do that side of things. I need coastal defense or a naval battery. Okay, I'll still building those up. Also standardize some things here. Oh sweet, it tells me what they are now. So three, two, one, five, five, two, or three, three, five. We need that five. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, so we should never have modern uh, power issues ever again. Okay, 14k I think should be enough to deal with Tunis. Let's send some boys over there. Uh, 29k is going to go deal with Ajam and all his friends. And then soon to be 30k is going to deal with his. Cavalry combat ability plus 10%. Lose 7,000 manpower. I'd love to, but I can't. I just, we don't have any manpower to begin with. All right. This is the next plan. So we're basically all with the Caucasus. Declared war on Wallachia. Oh no. God, and Austria's gone off against. This is an interesting Europe. Because you have France has got a personal union with... Naples. Uh, but then there's also Austria, which has a personal union over Hungary and has also smashed the Poles. What the hell is that? Okay, Novgorod is still alive and also has taken land in Livonian. Order. That is why the Ottomans so small. Um, uh, Tamar, if you don't mind putting like putting the text talking to my girlfriend uh, on, on, under the when I'm speaking now, so people know who I'm talking to. Although I have just explained. Uh, the Ottomans are very small because I did that to them. How could I? <laughs> I wanted... <laughs> I wanted to win. That's how I could do it to Mehmed II. Uh, yeah, we're currently looking at Sultan Ibrahim the First. Mehmed is is gone, and he's getting dogged on by the uh, by, the, I think the Serbians. Oh, no, I've got Shia zealots that are sitting there converting everything. Huh? No, I'm not Coptic. I'm Muslim. Deal with the Jam first. Oh God, Tunisian separatists. Just be in my empire. It's better for you. Deal with the Shia separatists first. 
that's the plan. Then we'll send you lot to deal with the Tunisian separatists, then attack the Tunisians directly. Having said that, I'm gonna send this 29k to deal with them. We never have any manpower. Yeah, I'm gonna start baiting out coalitions now. I think that's my next move. Uh, I think I can scale faster than them, given how fast I've scaled in the last 30 years. Also, I need to edit my template to have cannons in them. Because originally I was gonna save on cost, but we have a load of money and this is gonna save much manpower in terms of... Uh, Sieges. Okay, please win that quickly. He's taking back all the land. Aw, it was always for your own good. That's a very sweet event. It's not true. It's very much my own good, but that's, that's, they don't need to know that. So, <laughs> the Kazuka we still have an alliance with the Ottomans, despite everything. All right, let's call back some diplomats to get this done. Uh, Shirvan, you have relations with the Timurids. I don't want that anymore. Okay, so now it's just a jam. We can take everything from them, we will. Not sure we yeah, we can. Wonderful. And then we're also going to do the same to Aki. Diplomatic relations plus one. That frees up another slot. And we can fight the Tunisians. Where's your capital? I guess in Fazan. I'll demand payment in full because I'm greedy. And we'll become defender of the faith. That's just going to help with war exhaustion related activities. Take another group of ideas. We're ahead of time on military. And realistically, I'm taking quants because... Dear God, I've had no manpower this entire campaign. Admittedly, it did start with a war against the Ottomans, but that's that's beside the point. Oof, that's a bad day to me. I've no, the allies, <laughs> the vassals will help out. Good job, guys. Did I even deal with the Tunisian? Okay, I did deal with the Tunisian separatists. All right, Fazan's done. Let's deal with the Tunisian army directly. Just please, just wasting so much manpower on this. It's, it's been so long. This one stupid siege. There we go, 437 days. Might not seem like that long, but it, it well, it, okay, maybe it's not. Maybe we're being impatient, but that's besides the point. We'll take... Uh, quantity ideas, which gives us more national manpower modifier, which is huge. And we're just going to take as much as possible. Yeah, I can't imagine our... Oh, God. Oh, God. Our extension is going to be huge. Uh, it's fine, though, because we can upgrade to an empire. It's very useful for our exploits in getting this lot to like me. Uh, I'm also going to concentrate development wherever I can, just to see if I can get it below the threshold. Oh, God. <laughs> just upgraded my admin tech. And I'm in another war. Okay, this is going to be a very rough couple of years. <laughs> we've got a guy with five in the uh, in admin. There's otherwise... Oh, 2,000 map up, please. Otherwise, yeah, this would take a long time. There's a lot of rebels in this area. Oh, that's that's a stack web, isn't it? Yep. Okay. It's it's a it's a rough time to be me. It's it's a very rough time. There are Byzantine separatists in Cyprus. That's not ideal. Oh, well, fortunately, <laughs> I can just knit through the Suez Canal. Oh yeah, Sophia, I uh, I built the Suez Canal in uh, in 1474. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we don't trade. Huh? It's about it's about we don't trade. I don't, but it's about 500 years early. Yes. You should not be able to do this. That that, that was all. Yes, thank you. I, it's all of my hard work. Nothing to do with the missions. Don't win that siege. They won the siege. It's okay. This is getting violently out of hand. Oh, look, if we're already over 100% over extension, it's not going to hurt to take even more, right? But I had Anixum fully. I could full Anixum. Uh, yeah, why not? There you go, Tunis. Oh, this is going to be hell. Okay, we're at peace, though. It means we can annex some vassals and grab some new ones. Okay. Oh, it's, it's so many more. This is so much worse than I could have ever imagined. I just started to get my manpower back as well. Okay, Algerian separatists. Most of these are North African. And I got a, a pretty full army over there. We'll do a mission. What for? Unite Arabia. I united Arabia? How? What? How? Oh, because I vassalized a bunch of people. Hydraulic rights. I can give the merchant guilds who have way too much power. I gave them the Nile River transports because it sounded cool. Hydraulic rights. Reduced development cost by 50%. That's actually pretty good. That's most areas with... Oh, God. Uh, well, at least they've been unseaged. And most things have... Well, have their cause started. When's our truce to the Ottomans? 85. We could also fight Serbia. I only use the interim periods to uh, dock up on people to vassalize. Being at war is objectively better for me because I can uh, use war taxes. Now the hope is that my vassals will run around and win this war for me. I want to see if the vassal swarm is real. Don't think it is. Okay, things are starting to be converted, which is nice. Our power recovery speed, which is good. We don't even make that much from trade, really. We actually made 20 ducats, which is... But I haven't really been focusing on it. I probably should a little bit. I add things to trade companies. I'm annexing the Byzantines as useful as they are because mainly, well, mainly because I have space for them. Um, I'll keep the Bulgarians around because I'll just give them the Balkan lands. But it does make sense to have like one vassal trapped in by another. I need another vassal over here. I own your core provinces, do I? Oh yeah, I do. I'm gonna assume I have better troops. Byzantines are so bad at fighting. That's another reason I gotta get rid of them. Wasn't I made to take naval ideas? Wait, did it say take or completed? I think it's gonna say complete. There's no way they let that go through, right? Honestly, the government reform for the naval professions might be the way forward. Check my vassals are getting destroyed. Epirus has been annexed. Gotta keep looking further afield now for people I could potentially vassalize. Oman. Apparently would or Sangli. Thought about that. Mercuria. And I might be able to get I might be able to get Lucca. Morocco's not a bad shout either. That's weird that they would uh, that they would accept it. It's because of an empire now that really helps. Okay. The Corian situation is mostly under control. Truth of the Ottomans is done. Okay, we got ourselves Diplo Rep plus two. Yeah, I don't know that I can 
do this. I'll improve relations with them either way, but I think that's too much. Yeah, because opinion doesn't really come into it. Might have unlocked some new ones, though. Yeah, Lucka would do it now. You know what? Lucka sounds like fun. Let's do that. Gonna be diplo vassalizing everyone. Let's convert some of this money into manpower by just doing this. We make 40 ducats a month, so. Austria's allied England. France is not in for a good game. Particularly now that I'm moving into uh, Italy. I co belligerented uh, Bohemia, but I, I don't. Not Bohemia, sorry, Bosnia. But I don't think anything's gonna come of it. We could, I mean, we could see what's there. I'm sure there's a way to do this en masse. Oh, transfer subject treaty at half cost. Could I nick anyone from. I mean. Technically, the French. Yeah, 91% means I'm not going to get hold of any of Bosnia, really. But I can take all of Serbia. It's going to be a nightmare to deal with. I might have to intercede on this one. I can't have... What? I really care? I, I do a little bit. Okay, they won the siege of Karamabad, which they fought before I won their siege of just their capital. Shivan wants it. I want it. I want to see these claims that you want that. Yes, Shivan. <laughs> see some of these other claims. I mean... Okay, that's Austria. I thought it was Wallachia for a second. Just do that. Can I take... I think I can... Annex the Ottoman. Most Atlanta. She started to get manpower back. That's painful. I immediately attack someone in the mountains across the river. And I say I'm not going to waste it. Fantastic. Okay, that should get silly out. Uh, Bosnia as well. <laughs> it's Bulgarian separatists. Oh, I really want to see what happens to this, actually. Bulgarian separatists can't, aren't going to go anywhere because they are <laughs> they're part of Bulgaria. But they don't know what to siege. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so they are still Bulgarian separatists. They're now sieging down Bulgaria? No, they're not. They're just part of Bulgaria. They're just, they're just chilling. But there's no Bulgarian left. Well, that's fun. I thought they'd despawn. Okay, we just about vassalized Lucker. Okay, so to take stock of the situation, uh, it's been about 40 years and we own pretty much the entirety of North Africa, most of the Balkans, almost all of Anatolia, and we are making good headway into Arabia and um, Persia. Uh, yeah, we're looking good in terms of governing capacity. Actually, I think most of this stuff I'm going to start trade company because I just I don't have the ability to do it myself. Let's just, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's trade company pretty much all this stuff. Why can't I trade company you? I can't do it from this screen for some reason. I'll take annexation cost. Nice. Once I get most of this land, we can probably uh, chuck out one, two, three, four trade companies. But that chaps is where we're going to leave it for today. If you do want to see more of the Mamlukian I suppose empire at this point. I also want to see what the Austrians get up to. Then please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll only continue, of course, if there is uh, an interest. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, if there's not, we'll move on to another thing. I've got loads of other ideas. Some of them more creative. Some of them uh, more standard. So hopefully figure out what you guys do enjoy. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. If, like me, you yearn to carpet bomb the silly little tanks for daring to forget about air superiority, you can play War Thunder now for free on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation using my link below, which also includes a large bonus pack featuring multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, and so much more. Once again, thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.